Today I'm answering a question right from our community and it's a good one. What is your philosophy on hustle versus rest? Um, ironic, I'm recording this episode on a Friday, really looking forward to some rest time because it has been a season of hustle. And today I'm gonna share just a couple thoughts about, you know, number one, what it really looks like. Like actually how much I work, how many hours a day and a week I put in, and then how I make sure that I balance that with rest because I do believe that there are seasons for both hustle and rest. And the key to long-term success and sanity is learning to distinguish the difference. Welcome back to the show. And today we are tackling a question straight from our girl gang. Uh, we had put a little poll out to our audience a few weeks ago, all for this amazing new resource we're creating for you. I can't wait to reveal it. It's taking us a little time to put together, but we asked our audience, what are some questions that you would love to hear another female entrepreneur or maybe someone who's you know created success, you would love to hear them answer. And we got so many great questions. That's the thing about our audience. You all like never, you do not hold back. The girl gang shows up and you really tell us what you wanna hear. It's so helpful. I can't even tell you. Like having a podcast is my favorite thing in the whole world, but I don't wanna just talk about things that are interesting to me. I wanna add value to you. So this question was a great one. Um, we are going to incorporate this whole thing theme into the free resource that we're creating, but I thought the way this question was phrased uh, just was really beautiful. So I'm going to kind of paraphrase it and then I'll, I'll share just some honest thoughts around it because I'm sure this looks different for everyone, but um, I'm also going to be really honest what this looks like in the current season of my life and business, just to let you know that uh, it's normal. It's normal to have ebbs and flows. And it's also really normal to feel a little out of balance sometimes. So the question was, I'd love to hear um, your philosophy on hustle versus long-term energy sustainability. So do you believe that rest, play, and relaxation enhance your work um, and make it possible for you to continue without burnout? Or do you believe more in like the grind and, you know, working above all else because it'll be worth it in the end? So many great questions and thoughts around this. I think that, you know, and this person even acknowledged that this this like hustle culture, grind culture is really kind of glorified. But then there can also be a lot of guilt regardless of which philosophy really is a fit for you. So whether that's, I feel guilty when I'm relaxing and I should be working on this project, or I feel guilty I'm working all the time. I'm not, you know, saving energy for the people that I love. And I'll be really honest and just share that, like I've had seasons with this. And I, another question that came up a lot, which ties into this is like, okay, how much do you actually work in a day? And, you know, I, I follow a lot of other entrepreneurs on social media too. I, I'm sure others have their own, you know, their own answer to this. And some people probably do a lot better with boundaries than I do. But I am in a season right now, and I think it's important just to use the term season, that we are really doubling down and investing in growing this community. And we're taking on a lot of really exciting projects, and it's requiring a lot of me. And, um, you know, for those of you listening who don't know, I, I am married. We do not have kids. So that's what my world looks like outside of business, that I have a spouse and I have family and friends. I'm not currently raising tiny humans. So that factors into it. But at the moment, you know, there is a majority of my day, Monday to Friday, that I am working. And oftentimes that goes later into the night. Um, but here's what I will say has worked for me. So it was earlier this year that um, 
I just noticed a lot of people around me making kind of like comments about like, oh, I know how busy you've been. You're so busy. You're so busy. And all of a sudden I realized like I was adopting this, this idea that I was so busy, but I was actually just taking it from the words of other people that when I checked in, like there wasn't an energy of, oh, I'm so busy. I don't have enough time in the day. I actually felt like really on purpose and I felt like I was doing important work every day and I was prioritizing well. And it was just so interesting to me that I realized, you know, I've always had this. So this is kind of for my other, my fellow, you know, super ambitious to a fault women who also kind of battle this i think there's the hustle culture but then there's also the one that's like oh there should be flow there should be you know this balance and i just that's just not my reality and actually it's not what i enjoy either that i had to learn to stop comparing my version of hustle and rest to anyone else's I had to learn to develop like a really fine-tuned self-awareness about what was actually too much for me and what wasn't and start to let that be my deciding factor versus like if I'm working until 10 p.m. having that be a bad thing when right now in this season that was what this week required or what that day required. Maybe I was prepping for a big launch. So you know, for me, I think I had to realize that, you know, <laughs> I always used to think that it was kind of lame that when people asked me what I did for fun, like my honest answer is my work is fun. <laughs> like I work, that's what I do for fun. But quite honestly, like no, no lie, this, this is what lights me up the most. It's where I want to spend the most of my time. And it doesn't mean I don't have other hobbies and I don't do other things with friends. But I finally gave myself permission to just admit that what I do for a living and my purpose really is where I have the most fun and where I'm enjoying myself the most. And that, again, that can be okay for me and it doesn't have to be okay for someone else. So when it comes to this philosophy of balancing your energy, you know, I do think there's, it's important to develop that self-awareness so that you know for yourself what's too much. But I also think as women, we need to give ourselves permission to find what our right amount of hustle versus rest is. So one thing that I'm really great at is if I can tell, and I'm starting to feel in my energy that I've maybe gone like a little too hard in the paint. There was a week uh, the other week where Monday through Thursday were just filled with a little bit more activity than I, I actually wanted. And I think especially as the world starts to open up a little bit, I was, I was committing to things and going and I was peopling, right? I was seeing people and interacting with people more than I had been and I forgot actually how much that drains me so for me I actually recharge alone I love to be with people it's one of my favorite things in the world and I need alone time (laughs) I need a lot of alone time in order to recharge so it was Monday through Thursday and then by Thursday night I knew that I I had like very little fuel left in the tank so I looked at my day for Friday and I canceled everything that I could So again, it doesn't matter what my version of hustle versus rest is. It matters what yours is. It matters what's right for you, what feels right for you. But it's also important to share that, you know, people out there who are doing and growing really big entities and companies, or if they're getting a business off the ground and and they're a solopreneur at this point, it's going to require more of you maybe then uh, other people are willing to admit, but it's a matter of develop, developing that healthy self-awareness to know when you're reaching your limit, when you need to ask for help, where you can outsource things that allow you to keep your best energy focused on the thing that you're creating for this world. So a couple of other things just to kind of wrap this up that I do to support myself around this is I give myself permission that when I'm in a season where work 
is more of a priority. So right now when I'm recording this, we're getting ready to do a big launch. And my house is messier than usual. Um, I said to a friend yesterday that <laughs> I couldn't even remember when the last day I washed my hair was. <laughs> you girls get it, you know, we just like live on dry shampoo. But I said, I just don't know if it's possible to have a rockin' uh, launch and a clean body or home. And instead of holding myself to this unrealistic standard that everything in my life is gonna flow really well when I'm in a season that's a little bit more focused on work, I gave myself that permission that right now the, the thing that's taking priority is this launch. Because I really, really wanna serve and I know this is gonna serve a lot of women. And then I already have things booked in my calendar to put extra time with my husband at the forefront, to make sure I have that alone time and time to recharge. So as you develop the self-awareness and you know what you need and you know how to support yourself, you can start to pre-book that into your schedule where you get to make sure that you're recharging and balancing out that energy from the seasons where your purpose requires you to show up and give more. And I think that's, that's the ultimate secret to balance, whatever balance is, whether you believe it exists or not. I think balance is one of those individual things. It's gonna look different for your family than it does for mine. But the biggest thing that I can encourage all of us to do is stop comparing your version of hustle versus rest to anyone else's. Because what's right for you isn't going to be what's right for me. And we don't need to look at someone who appears to be doing so much more than us and use that as a weapon to make ourselves feel bad. Because maybe they're just in a season where they can give a little bit more. And maybe right now, your family needs you full time to be giving your full attention to them. So let's normalize that, okay? Um, that's at least my, <laughs> that's my advice to myself. And I'm really hoping that that serves some of you today as well. So one of my favorite places to be filled back up, if you haven't already checked out our Girl Gang membership community, this is a place just full of so much love and encouragement and women keeping it real about what this journey actually looks like. So uh, check out the show notes. I'm going to put the link there for how to join. Uh, we created this literally as just the safe space for this community to connect, to grow, to learn from other women who are on this journey with you. And uh, it's one of my favorite places at the moment to hang out. So I hope you'll check it out. I cannot wait to meet you inside. And uh, just remember, no one, no one at all, me included, no one on the internet, no one that you look up to has anything figured out more than you do. We all are doing the best that we can with the time, the energy, the resources that we have available to us, but we are all in this together. I really do believe that. So I'll talk to you next week.